play one? Hello. Hi. What's your name? Emily. I'm Mason. You're Mason, nice to meet you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, I think it's made of you. Uh, it's a great gift. I saw it once you moved your queen. Uh, cool. Wow. I, I great gifted him. Wow. Very impressive. I've always wanted to try that. This is no joke, man. All right, Mookie, Mookie, okay, get wanna, in here. You want to swap? Oh, man, I so like, I it's a thing. I don't know what oh, yeah. oh, yeah, you want to go. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. He's really strong, man. Good job, Emily. I studied Greek gift this morning, wow. so I was like, <laughs> I, got, I got lucky. Wow. Hey, guys, Brian here. What a great Greek gift by Emily here. And must be a great feeling to know that the thing you just learned that morning helps you in the afternoon. And kudos to Mason for taking his time to think this through because I'm sure a lot of people were thinking, hey, and Mason reached for his rook too. Why not just move the rook out of the way Queen check, king over on that empty space, queen check, and king out. So you have that escape. Why didn't he do that, right? So let's go, let's see what that would look like. So going back here, boom, 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 rook over, check. It seems fine, right? Let's go all the way back here. Why is that not fine? Why did he resign in this position? Can you figure it out? Yes, it's a bit, it's... It looks like these two are doing all the heavy lifting, and they are the majority of the time, but you gotta remember the other piece here. Boom, this queen, or I'm sorry, this bishop. So even if rook over, queen takes a check, king over, and you have the bishop, uh, queen, bishop, battery, mate. And the crazy thing about this is that the way out of the Greek gift is so counterintuitive. You're taught in chess not to move your king out especially when the queens are on the board, but that is the safe thing to do here. <laughs> when you go back, it's, it's uh, too much firepower. So queen g3, or I'm sorry, king g3 is the way out. And what could be a continuation, let's say knight, uh, knight c5, hitting the queen, the queen back. Now here comes the queen and setting up some discoveries, but there are no ways to kind of take advantage of this discovery. Um, I mean... You could do something sneaky like here, and uh, I don't, you know, if you take this, it's pretty much death because queen h2 covers the back, and you have all these pawns coming up. So maybe going back here, f4, queen h5, and the game is dead even. Going back here, you could even do something like knight check, but, I mean, then the king just hops back into protection, and white is winning here. So, yeah, I think that's why the Greek that line confuses a lot of people because the way out is to step up and it looks like you have a way out but you got to remember that this bishop here is covering so beautifully done emily man that's that's great to see more women in chess and it's a great fight by mason as well very gracious in defeat nicely done by both hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you thought of the game comments below don't forget to like share comment and subscribe at that bonification thanks i'll see you guys tomorrow